All right, first things first, you're going to realize that suddenly my room seems a bit wider, like there's a lot to see. Because guys, I'm not using this anymore. First things first, you guys are probably wondering why I've been so silent with my vlogs and my videos, or rather my YouTube channel for the past few months, and it's because I've been busy at work. So I've been transferred from the sales department to the marketing department, or rather media team in Aftershock PC. So I'm the, by the title, if I'm not wrong, is junior content creator. The transition from sales to marketing has been very different for me, but it is something I want to do, you know, focusing on videography and focusing on my photos and of course building out my portfolio. Yeah, it's been great. So second thing, you're probably wondering why am I not using this anymore? My first baby, my first Canon DSLR camera, my first DSLR camera. So I needed an upgrade for my videography and photography now that I'm in the marketing department and I thought, you know, why not? I can build up my portfolio. So right now I'm using this Sony Alpha 7 Mark IV. That's right, this one was just released sometime in January. So this is a whole new camera, it very recently came out and <laughs> it actually cost me quite a bit. I'm not gonna say how much, I'm gonna put the, the number there and you guys are gonna just pause, just to, you know, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, so this is a big upgrade for me. And as much as I love this, this has been my baby, has been gone through thick and thin for the past three years or so. No, four years actually right now, four years. And I still using it for portrait photography because it's an amazing uh, lens, even though it's a crop sensor, but this is gonna be one of my main cameras now. So with my purchase of this camera, I actually bought uh, two lenses. So number one is this 35mm lens, uh, f1.8. It's a really amazing lens for both videography and photography. I love it. I need something a bit more versatile to get that really shallow depth of field or bokeh effect. Uh, the one I'm using is a 28-75 to uh, f2.8 by Tamron. Uh, this was lovely be given to me by my friend Tia Chi. Uh, he wanted to sell it off and he sold it for me for a cheap price. And I've been, this is like my, my main lens because of the wideness and of course I can do this. See, this is wide, this is really wide. I realized I thought I was in the tight mode but apparently it can go wider. But I'm not gonna do that because you guys can see my room. So I'm just gonna go tight. <laughs> One other thing I got myself with this whole new upgrade kit is a switch part. There you go guys, switch part. So the switch part is this vlogging tripod that I've seen people use and it's very versatile. Like literally you can use it as a tripod and of course as a vlogging camera, you know, those are selfie sticks, somewhat. And which brings on to my next venture. Why would I buy this? Why do I need this? Um, as you can see, there is a luggage in my room and it's not just for prop, actually it is for prop, but there is a purpose. And that purpose is, I'm going on a flight. That was supposed to go the other way around. I'm going on a flight. So yes, guys, I am actually flying off. At the time of this video, I'm actually flying off tonight to Germany. And uh, you know what? Like the last video, I'm gonna show you rather than explain to you, because it's a whole thing. I'll, I'll pass it to future Yiki. Future for me, past for you, or present for you, depending on what, when you watch this video. Much better environment. And now we can definitely start the vlog. So it's been a few days since I arrived here in Germany. So let me show you what we've been up to since we've entered the land of bratwurst, schnitzel and beer. So my family lives here in Konstanz, Germany, which is near the borderline of Switzerland and Germany. So actually, we can actually see the Alps. I don't know if you guys can see in the background, the Alps are there. So it's about an hour or so drive, give or take, to get to the Alps. So we're at this place called Appenzell. It's like this like mountain thingy range, like over there. Okay, gonna cut you right there, bro. The place we're going to is Ebenalp. Appenzell is a town near Ebenalp, which you guys will see later on. Continue. As you can see, everyone here does rock gliding. Yeah. So yeah, these people actually like come all the way over here, like here in Switzerland. 
uh, just to paraglide. And like not like everywhere, not all around. But this is like a, like a hobby, some sort of a you know thing for them. So you can see like oh they just landed. Those people over there they just landed, and there are more people coming up. Come up there, some it. Yeah, so it's very nice, very dangerous, a very fun thing to do right here in Switzerland. Oh, that's my aunt right there. Say hi. <laughs> so like cable cars like somewhere over there. I, I don't know if you can see where I'm pointing, but somewhere over there. So it's just about, uh, according to where we parked, it's about 500 meters to where we parked. So, I mean, it's not bad, it's, it's a nice walk. It's a nice view to walk to, as you can see. It's really grand. So, you know what? I don't mind the walk. As you can clearly see, I really do not mind this walk that we're on right now. Turns out we're not going up there. The reason why is because um, I, my uncle feels like it's a bit of a waste of time because there's not much to see up there. So I'm going to shade so you guys can see me. So instead, after our walk in the water, uh, we're going somewhere else to see if we can get a nicer view. I, I hope, hopefully, we get a better view. But damn, I mean, look at that. That just, just look at that. It's just amazing, right? Sorry, my my head's rocking away, but yeah, look at that. Look at the mountain! Look at the peak! So, I know I said we're gonna go for some like picnic uh, by the mountains in the fields, have a drink somewhere and a few sandwiches but we make a quick pit stop like in this small town that is literally near the mountains that like that's that's where we were uh, so we're just gonna see what's around here maybe do some, some like bit souvenir shopping, I don't know just see how it is and let's just see what this town has to offer So let me get one thing straight the town is called Appenzell, not the mountain. So Appenzell is basically this entire town where we're at. This is a Swiss town. So the mountain you see at the top, right up there, that sand is, uh, it's about 2,100 meters above sea level, if I'm not wrong. So it's not one of the tallest mountains in the world, but it is really tall. Like, to get up there by a cable car, to get all the way up there by a cable car, it takes about 15 minutes. And there's only like one or two cable cars that comes in once every while. I don't know. I think they only have two cable cars. So one that goes up, one that goes down. That's why. And damn, that's a high mountain. For me at least. For now. I think. Enjoy. Honestly, the Alps were really great, even though I didn't get to go all the way to the top. And the weather was perfect. So, it was a great day. I mean, we'll get to the top one day. One day. Sunday morning strawberry farming Yep, you heard me We actually went to pluck fresh strawberries at a strawberry farm Or rather a fruits and vegetable farm Nah, it's a strawberry farm yeah, That's right, see all these people? See all them? 
they're all picking strawberries straight from the farm so we can just do them and they're gonna sell it at like uh four euros per kilo and that's honestly not so bad because you can bring your own like bucket or tupperware and like your own basket if you want to and you can just pick as many as you want and just pay the price that's honestly not so bad everyone's enjoying it little kids families guys this this is this is the farm life you guys need actual proof that i can actually pluck it and eat it straight away see pluck straight from here like here and it's actually really good so this entire piece of land over here this whole place yeah it's owned by this company that grows fruits and vegetables that you can all that you can think of tomatoes lettuce strawberries cherries watermelons i think i'm not so sure but yeah you guys can actually just come here buy them over there if you want to or if you want to pluck them yeah you can if they're in season of course but who wants to just go to the shop and buy them you came here for the experience i enjoyed it so will you if you do come here or go to any farm that is this is a good experience guys so monday's castle day yeah that's right we went to a castle to be even more exact we went to the sigmarinen castle yeah if i'm not wrong that's what it's called the castle is a mixture of like medieval and modern it looks like it to me i mean i'm guessing it went through some kind of renovation throughout the years but it still upholds its name to you know to be what it is a castle so this whole place this castle I forgot what its name has like one of the coolest thing ever this is like a musket wall this is a musket i don't i cannot imagine myself holding this musket and then like firing it's so bloody heavy you see this is what i love about the medieval times and all i want to be a knight i want to have a nice suit of armor not a suit but a suit of armor just look at that it's just so nice even even the small shitty one still looks really good I think that stood out most for me was the samurai armor in the hall of armor and weaponry i mean come on amongst the whole knights in shiny armor look and then you just have a samurai armor which was like black and that authentic samurai look damn it's been a long time since i took a really long train journey and this one we took it was about three hours give or take and we are headed off to Karlsruhe so this is where I'm at right now so Karlsruhe is basically this another urban town and it's really urban actually I like the train the, that they have tram tracks like going throughout the town like throughout this entire big ass town and we're just going to see what we could do here maybe some sightseeing maybe some shopping I don't know we just got here so maybe get some food and yeah we'll take in the sights Gotta admit, honestly, there was not a lot of stuff to see there. It was a mixture of suburban and urban life. There were shops here and there, you know, basic civilization stuff. But that's just as far as it goes. Not much sightseeing for us. Just a lot more window shopping, bit of shopping. Eh, that's just as far as the day goes for us. All right, I'm ending my vlog here today, but that's not the end of my trip. I still got another four to five more days, I guess, give or take, uh, till I go home. So I'm gonna continue the rest of this vlog in part two. That's right, first time my vlog has a part two. All right, I'm gonna take off. So I'll see you guys soon. I'm gonna enjoy the remainder of my vacation. I need it, I deserve it. I had a lot of sleep, I love sleep. So till then guys, as always, literally the world is yours. Hell yeah.